you're probably thinking, if there's a product rule for converting things back and forth between multiplication and addition using logs, there's probably a quotient rule. And you can probably guess that it's for converting things between division and subtraction. And here it is. Log base b of x over y, or x divided by y, equals log base b of x minus log base b of y. Let's test this out. Example 1. Log of 12 over 3, or 12 divided by 3. Now, we could enter it directly into our calculator as log 12 over 3, or log of 4. And we would get 0 0.602 all rounded. If we were to break this up using our new quotient rule, we would have log 12 minus log 3 and into our calculator, and we would get the same thing, 0 0.602 rounded. Example 2, a more algebraic one. Simplify log base x of 3x to the 4 over y. So let's break this up using a combination of our product rule and our new quotient rule. So first, log base x of 3x to the 4 minus log base x of y, our quotient rule. We did division to subtraction. Then, let's break up that first term a bit more. Log base x of 3 plus log base x of x to the 4 minus log base x of y. And that was our product rule, multiplication to addition. And then we can break it up even further. Log base x of 3 plus 4 log base x of x minus log base x of y. And we used our product rule, powers to multiplication. Then we can also notice that log base x of x is 1, and that leads to our final answer. Log base x of 3 plus 4 minus log base x of y. Example 3. Expand this one. And yeah, it looks pretty complicated. So, the trick will be just staying organized and breaking it down in little steps using the rules that we've learned so far. We see multiplications on top, so that'll break down using the product rule. We have divisions, or a fraction, and that means we're going to apply the quotient rule. And we also have some exponents in there for the power rule. So let's start breaking this down. In the numerator, we use the product rule, and that gives us log additions. For the denominator, we're dividing each item, so the quotient rule, and that gives us log subtractions. So, first step down. Now, let's take a look and we see two exponents, the 2 and the a. So using the power rule, we'll change those to multiplications. And things are looking pretty good. And we notice a log base 3 of 3, that's just a 1. So we can simplify that down. And we're there. Here's our expanded result. 